we asked you a very simple Bible to you. How many times did the children of Israel go around the wall of Jericho? There are those that got it and those that did, go, that did not get it. But I can tell you that God instructed the children of Israel together with Joshua to go around the, the wall of Jericho, to march around it for seven times. As in, uh, it's every day they would march, go around it one time. The second day, only march once. This, the third day, the fourth day, the fifth day, the sixth day. Well, the people, the, the, the priests and others were blowing the trumpet and all. They were just very quiet going around the wall of Jericho each day once, each day once. But something happened on the seventh day. God instructed them on this seventh day, go around it seven times. So what were mathematics? Six plus seven. You inakuja? Thirteen. So I told them at thirteen, they are right, all right? So, but on the seventh day, God told them to go around it seven times. And on that seventh time, they went through it. They shouted a loud voice and the wall came down. And they possessed the city and everything that is in it. Oh, of course, except Rahab was spared, anyone else died. They took up the gold, the everything that was in it. And we can see God using number seven in, in the Bible so many times. On the seventh day, he rested. On the seventh day, he told even Naaman to go bath in the water, in the river Jordan for seven times. You can see this number seven being used over and over and over again. But seven, what I can tell you is perfect completion. He perfects everything on the seventh time. We can see God sprinkling the blood of the blood of Jesus Christ um, on the mercy seat seven times just for you. Anything you've been trusting God uh, from the beginning of the year, I pray and I trust with you. I stand together with your faith that he brings that into perfect completion since to mengia mwezi wa saba in this seventh month let it represent and let it stand with your faith that everything you've been trusting god for mm -hmm. let him bring it to perfect completion god gives us different instructions so that he can fulfill his word in your life that instruction that he has given you go and do it and he will bring it to perfect completion you know why because he who began the good work in you is too faithful to fail you in Jesus' mighty name. We've come to the end of the show. And I want to appreciate each and every one of you who tuned in, who commented on our social, who kept us company from the top of the hour up to 11 a.m. Second service has been amazing. Personally, I've been blessed.